Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can be a liquidity provider on Tezos and actually more specifically how you can earn rewards for being a liquidity provider. So you're getting some liquidity mining or yield farming, various names for this, uh, but you can now do this on Tezos and you will earn, you can earn some wrap tokens. So wrap tokens actually now have a market value, I believe as of today it's $12 per token. Um, so how can we get those? So here we go. So the first thing is to go to keepaswap.com slash swap, um, and you are going to invest. That is, you're going to add liquidity. And in order to add liquidity, you need to do it with two different tokens and add an equivalent value of the two. Now, that I go through this in more detail in another video that I'm going to link uh, with this one. Uh, but uh, for now, we're just going to take 10 XCZ, and the other one I'm going to use is a um, wrapped token. So wrap is a new protocol on Tezos that it creates um, a Tezos version of some analogous Ethereum ERC20 token. Uh, this is actually the contract of this wrap protocol. Uh, I go. There's another video where I go through this in more detail in terms of how you can actually create wrap tokens. Um, now, if we look at this contract contract over here under tokens, it, it actually manages all these wrapped versions of ERC20 tokens. And we have over here at token ID number 11 is the Matic token. So I'm just going to copy here the contract address and pop that in on Kipu Swap, um, I just pop that twice, and the token ID is 11. Once you put it in the first time, you won't have to put in the contract address, but uh, by default, you won't have it on yours uh, because it's not yet whitelisted. It's not whitelisted because it, this is so new. Uh, the, all these, the vendor protocol itself is only a week or two old. Um, but there's nothing to be concerned about in terms of the reputability of these tokens. Totally cool. Uh, and uh, so you're good to go on that front. I'm going to hit add liquidity. Oh, of course, my Temple wallet. Important step. You have to connect that to this page. Add liquidity. And this is going to take about a minute for it to go through. Once I hit confirm, this is an 11 cent transaction fee. And yeah, we'll wait about a minute for this. And now you can see this completed. And now by providing uh, liquidity in in this pool, that is we're adding now these Rapmatic tokens so people can buy or sell them. If we go over to the remove liquidity tab, I just want to show you that if I select that Rapmatic token, I have 9.18 shares, 18, 9.18 shares of what? And that are these LP tokens, liquidity provider tokens that um, represent my share or my stake in the overall pool that exists on Kipu Swap. So the overall pool has about roughly 88,000 Rapmatic, and um, I just put in 69.6. Uh, that has, means I have a 0.08% stake, which gives me. Um, so that's what these 9.18 uh, shares represent. Okay, now the, here's where it gets interesting. If I go over to the Bender Labs wrap protocol side of things, that's liquidity.tzwrap.com, and I select that Rapmatic pool, and I connect, connect my Temple wallet here as well. Hit connect. It will automatically pull up the fact that I have um, 9.18 LP tokens. So I'm going to hit max there. So I'm able to stake them in uh, this Bender Labs wrap uh, contract. I have some from before. I've already staked 26 earlier. So the to new total will be 35. So I hit stake. Have to confirm this as well on Temple Wallet. That's another 14 cents fee. Hitting that. And that again will take about a minute to complete. So the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, there's a blog post by Bender Labs uh, titled How to Stake Your Kipu Swap LP Token Earn Wrap Liquidity 
rewards. As I mentioned, these wrapped tokens are, are worth, uh, currently they're worth $12 each. So, and they are giving out roughly 900,000 of them. That's a, a value of about $10.7 million worth of wrapped tokens are being distributed just over the next four months between May 10th and September 9th. And they're being distributed across these 12 uh, pools. Uh, one of them being that wrapped matter tokens. I mean, there are all these wrapped uh, token pools, and uh, which turns out to be, which works out to be 0.426 wrapped tokens per block uh, on the Tezos blockchain. So roughly every minute, um, point uh, like a half a 0.4 wrapped tokens are rewarded. They're distributed in proportion to the number of LP tokens that you staked on. Um, you know, that, that we're staking over here. Um, so that uh, must have completed. If we go to the unstake tab, I do notice that it shows zero wrap tokens as my pending reward. And I believe, well, I'm not quite sure if this is some kind of um, mistake that it doesn't seem to show up right away, or if it actually does require another block to go through before that shows up. Um, it is a little strange because I definitely have some wrap rewards that are pending from my transactions earlier. So I'm going to find out about this. Um, what's the holdup? But um, I have noticed that if I just wait another minute, it seems like for the next block to show up, then it will show. Yeah, and here we go. And now it shows that I have uh, 0 0.0013 wrap tokens that are pending. And, you know, I can get those from the claim tab and, um, you know, and, and get those tokens. Now, I can always at any time unroll all of this. Uh, well, before I say that, I just want to uh, clarify that this number is going to keep going up every minute because as the minute tick, ticks by, as it shows in this blog post, um, that 0.426 wrap tokens are going to get divvied up, divvied up to everyone that is staking those LP tokens. You know, this is just all of an incentive to get people to provide liquidity on Kipu Swap. So you're providing a good service over here for people that want to trade or uh, maybe buy some wrap token, wrap uh, tokens. So by you participating in this um, and kind of showing that you're participating by staking your LP tokens you uh, are rewarded. Um, now I can always take these rewards out and then I can always um, um, unstake these LP tokens. And then by unstaking them, I can go back to Kipu Swap and remove my um, share of what I put into Kipu Swap. So I can take that back out. Wait, won't necessarily be the equivalent amount. Uh, this gets into how automated market maker exchanges work. Uh, but that's something for, uh, that's another topic. Anyway, I hope um, this made sense. I hope this is kind of, uh, I think this is really cool how you can have your XCZ work for you uh, instead of just holding on to Tezos. And, um, but now you can actually stake it within uh, Kipu Swap and earn rewards from Bender Labs. So really cool stuff. And I'll see you back here for future videos.